Cineramic Grill Room. I'm Gareth Wheeler. Three million Canadians tune in each week last fall to see hockey players and figure skaters come together on one sheet of ice. Not competing for ice time, but skating together in hopes of being crowned Battle of the Blades. This year, you can see the man to my right and 15 other competitors <laughs> lace them up for season two of the hit series. It all starts this Sunday at 8 p.m. on the CBC. Are you ready for the Battle of the Blades, Valerie Bure? I'm not sure. It's good to be here, but I'm not sure if I'm ready yet <laughs> <laughs> or ever will be. I always said, you know, it's. I don't think it's, imp it's impossible to make a figure skater out of a hockey player. It's just, it's, it's not going to happen. We're going to make it look as good as we can, but it's just so difficult to do. So uh, some of the moves, they're like, you know, you got to be able to do this. And I'm like, no, I'm a hockey player. I can be able to do this move. So it'll be interesting. Last year, I mean, we had many of the guys who were in the competition come into studio. They were highly competitive, and they took it really seriously, Val. And, and to me, it's just that competitive fire coming out. You guys are natural competitors, obviously, on the ice playing hockey. But this is a whole new skill set that you need to wrap your head around. It's not just getting out there and skating per se. Yeah, no, I agree with you. You know, when uh, I sign up for the show and they asked me to do it, uh, I'm like, well, whatever happen, happens. I'm just going to have a good time. And then we got into a camp here, you know, just to figure out what are we going to do. All of a sudden, I'm like, what do you mean you're going to be better than me? And it's just that <laughs> competition start to roll. So now we're seeing each other and it's just really, really competitive uh, in a good way. Because, you know, before a competition is like, I have to body check you, I have to cross check. I mean, it's a contact. We're here, we, we're still friends. It's, it's, it's nothing personal. But when we get on the ice, all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I want to be better than you. So it's something that is already in us since a young age. It's just in a different way. So you're hanging out in California. You know, you, you got your wine business going on you got a whole lot of stuff going on you have your family so what made you decide to come and do battle of the blades and come up here and essentially move your life to toronto for the better part of two months yeah uh well in the beginning i didn't want to do the show so when they called me I right away i said no they said well I'll just think about it so i said okay i come come home and i said candace they asked me to do the show in canada and she's just like right away you told them yes right i go no i'm not gonna do it she's, and she's a big fan of uh, dancing with the stars and all that stuff so she just like you have to do it you have to do it so for the next like three weeks that's all i heard you have to do it so finally i'm like okay just send me dvds let me look at it a month later i said okay i'm gonna do it so what were your impressions when you were watching it were you like one do i really have to dress like that i mean there were some crazy get-ups that season you know the the loose shirt the silk yeah, shirts and yeah. stuff like that. i mean are you prepared to wear these these uh outfits or costumes yeah i'm not sure I, you know what i was impressed uh is how well those guys skated mm -hmm. how well put together the show was it was so impressive that right away i looked at it and i said you know what this is something that i'll be interested of doing it and uh i'm just looking at them go there's no way i'll be able to lift the girl above my head or skate this way i'm like it just never happens i said but i'll try to the best of my ability so so you come up here and you go through a boot camp correct yes so how did that hit you because i'm assuming you're not skating every day now no, I haven't skated. I mean, I you know, I, I put my skates away and uh, was not involved in hockey at all. Then when they called me uh, to do the show, I have to pull out my hockey skates. And for a first hour, we went on the hockey skates. And we're skating around and kind of a joking how to do it. And then they uh, zamboni the ice, and then they go, okay, well, here's your figure skates, put them on. And I'm like, are you, <laughs> are you serious? And there's about five, six different cameras, and the people watching it, I'm like, no, I, I don't want anybody to see this. <laughs> so uh, we all fell on, on, their butt, on our butts, and it was, just, it was just hilarious, but it was so different and so hard for us to do in an uncomfortable position that uh, w it was just a big mess, but we all had fun. No worries, Valerie. I think you're going to dominate once the competition begins. It all gets underway this Sunday night at 8 p.m. It's game on! As these guys lace them up, it's behind the scenes of boot camp, what Valerie and Theo and all the people had to endure. Then each and every Sunday night during the season, 90 minutes of live competition action on the CBC starting each Sunday night at 8 p.m. We'll be back with more. We'll be back with more with Valerie Murray inside the Casino Rabbit Grill Room right after this.